right. Appreciate everybody. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. We're going to talk about this. Really do. Yes, we live like 95, but we're going to talk about Christian Covington. The Dallas Cowboys got them a defensive tackle, a big plug to put into the middle. Uh, yes, he is a big boy. He's only uh, 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 six foot two, 310 pounds. I know a lot of people are going to say, wait a minute, Law. Wait a minute. David Irvin was six foot seven, six foot eight, two. 198 pounds 310 pounds give or take he's he was in between that but now we got somebody here that we can take a look at but let's look at this film uh we're gonna pull up pull up all the film we can find on uh this big old boy that's inside and uh we'll be able to see what he can do is he a run stopper yes is he a guy that you can say to yourself man who do we have out here that can help out this team as it relates to create impression to the inside that's what i believe that uh Covington can bring now uh is he a rotational guy i think so he may be a guy that they probably put inside to rotate or what have you but he's also a guy that you can say can he get to the quarterback do he have the ability to collapse the pocket do he have the ability to crash up field i will say yes let's look at this play right here as we can see uh, this is one of those uh, quarterbacks that we already know he got a quick release he can get the ball out quick we already knew what happened when the Dallas Cowboys played against the Indianapolis Colts we didn't get a lot of pressure but watch how he able to play either he can play the three or he can play over the one but watch this play right here he's able to collapse that pocket get inside use that strength and get there that's what we want to see Guys, time and time again, uh, a guy creating pressure, getting upfield, one-on-one. -on -one. We already know how uh, the, the wonderful Coach Rob Marinelli, we call him Papa Rob for a reason. We want to see this LOS being pushed back. We want to see if the guys can win their one-on-ones. Hmm. Get upfield, collapse the pocket, make the quarterback hit your lunch meet. That's what I want to see. And, and then on top of that, Think about the other guys that can eat, like the LVEs of the world, right? The Jalen Smith keeping that jersey clean. He's going to shoot this guy right here. He's going to push this guy back. Watch. Mm. Off. That's what we want. Split the D. Get to the quarterback. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love a big guy that can put it inside. We already talked about this time and time again. Shout out to you, Chase. Thank you for tuning in. James Gain, thank you for tuning in. Watch out, number 95, get off. So we've been looking for a replacement of number 95. Here you go. He's gonna, he probably going to wear number 95. Yes, split up the middle, get the quarterback down in the dirt. That's what I want. Pressure into the inside, collapse the pocket. I wanted to show you guys two to three sacks a year from a defensive interior guy. That's everything pushing back that pocket that's what you want to do <laughs> he racked up some sacks this game where is he lined up now look how look how he shed he shedded the one over here but now nah, he's lining up at zero watch this mono e mono i'm gonna push this guy back and i'm not gonna give this quarterback any time to step up through his throw or move out to the outside or eat, eat either way <laughs> push this guy back give me give him get out the way <laughs> Pressure up the middle is everything, guys. That's what you want. You want to put that pressure down the middle. You want to be able to do that. And, and when you collapse that pocket, everybody on the outside can eat. Now, this kid is flexible enough to be put on the outside of the edge as well. Watch how he's able to explode. Push that hand in the middle of the chest and collapse everything down. Guys, you don't want to keep the pad level high too, too high with him. And if you have problems looking him up on the field, Look for the biggest guy on the line. That's all you have to say. That's all I have to say. Let's rewind to this play again. Look for the biggest guy out there on the line. That's how you know that he creating pressure. This is him lined up over the, over the center. Push him back, move around, push the entire pocket back. That's what we want to see. Yes, Noah Gordon, yes, he was on the Texans. Yes, he was on the Texans. And uh, one can argue the Texans have one hell of a of defensive edge rushers uh, in, uh, in, in uh, Clowney and as well as uh, J.J. So, but he was able to play on the outside and play push that thing back, get to the quarterback. 
That's what I want. If you have a problem finding him, just look for the biggest guy out there on the field, creating pressure up inside. Guys, we got us a gym, and I already know that Rob Marinelli, he's going to coach him up to the best of his ability to play and help out. Hey, I like what Antoine Barbecue Woods can do. I like what this big boy can do, too. Look at that mall and pushing over, too. Still fine up the field. <laughs> if you need to find a big boy that's inside, if you have problems looking for him, look for the biggest guy in the middle. Watch. <laughs> this is again Tommy Boy, Tom Brady. Push that offensive line back. Look at the LOS. We're going to rewind to this. Look at the LOS. What's what I want? I don't care about nothing else but this right here. When I'm looking at this defensive front four, I want this line to be pushed back. Imagine this is an imaginary line going across the world, right? But you want you want to see this being pushed back because we want dogs, right? We want to see that. We want to see that line being pushed back, pushed back, pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. Call out that pocket. Make sure that the quarterback is not comfortable enough to step up through his throw. Create that pressure inside. That's what we want to see, guys. And that's what you get when you have strength, when you have power. Push everything back. It don't matter. The sacrificial line and then go for the strip sack. Watch this again. Let's watch this play again. Who's the sacrificial line? This guy right here, he's going to push. He's going to move out to the edge. Mm. Bounce out to the edge. Mm. Keep them feet moving. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People know. Can he hustle? Can he hustle? Can he hustle for this sack? Can your big boy get to the edge? They counted this as a sack. I like it. I like it. That's what you want to see. That big boy jolly moving him belly, getting out to the edge, chasing. Can he chase? Hmm. Get off me, too. Get off me. Run. There's a donut. Mm. <laughs> oh, let's, let's watch this again, Cowboy Nation. Hey, that's what I want to see. Look, they played him on the outside. You're going to see him touch two bodies before he get to the quarterback. Quarterback is going to try to roll out, and he's going to chase him and get the sack. We like to see that. We like to see that hustle play off the line. Burst one, contact two, contact, escape, chase. <laughs> That's a big boy. That's a big boy. He said, back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. <laughs> huh? <laughs> they in love with who I am. You know, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Why does he push everything back? Mm, one, two, fight through the trash, chase, sacks, pressure up the middle. <laughs> I want to I wanna condense everything inside, force the quarterback to can't step up to his throw, and then also I want him to be chased on the outside with my defensive end. Pressure up the middle is so underrated in the National Football League. Come on, guys. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, let's look at this play right here again. We're going to look at it. Fight through two guys. Continue to move forward, guys. I can't say this enough. We're going to go right here again. We're live. <laughs> like 95. What's up, Noah? Appreciate you. Push back to. Kept that pad level low. Make the quarterback his baby. Cowboy Nation, I, I like what this uh, signing is about. It's a one-year deal. As I don't have the money, per se, of what they're saying that they're going to pay the guy. But one thing that I can uh, say with uh, Christian Covington, even if he's a rotational guy, I know he can stop the run. I know he can push up the middle, collapse that pocket. I know that he plays with a tenacity of hustle to the ball. Uh, as far as his stats or what have you, not the gaudiest of stats of all time, but uh, as, as a guy that you can pick up for cheap, it's a wonderful deal. And outside of that, we already know that we can hear more of this. <laughs> Because we already know that LVE and Jalen Smith, they're happy about this pick. Because now, now, Snicko, shout out to you, 817. We'll hear more of the, that, that, that howling because they're going to be freed up. They're going to be able to fly out to the ball better. 
Uh, he's going to count for two people. Sometimes he can, if it's one on one, then I can trust him to push this guy back. And if you're only adding him as a rotational guy, then that's a plus too. Reason being is now you have a fresher Antoine Barbecue Woods, a, a, a fresher, my boy. Uh, 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 they can rotate in. You already know what I'm talking about. The Crawfords of the worlds and, and the other kid, uh, um, the Malik Collins. You have a fresher guy that you can put inside, and it's going to be real, real, real deal, man. Uh, Savage Time, really appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in to the nation. Uh, guys, let me know how you guys feel about this uh, pickup. Let me, let me know how you feel, whether or not now – Remember this, player evaluation is 365. It's not over with yet. We still got lots and lots of players to evaluate. We still have the draft around the corner, and we got a long way to go. But my thing is the Cowboys might be blessed to pick up this guy. What, he's six foot two and a half, 310 pounds? Not bad. Not bad for a big guy that you can put anywhere on that line. Now, I'm not saying that you keep him at – plan in or anything but i know for sure you can play him inside you can shade the one you can play zero you can play those type of things so that's what that's all a plus in my opinion let me look up pro football reference so that we can see everything uh on him as it relates to his uh stats and things like that and you know one thing that i can say about stats it's just a a, a placer to know where the guy is going to be at but the real thing that I look at is film. How <laughs> can he fly up to the ball? Can he collapse the pocket? Can he get to the quarterback? Can he create pressure? And those type of parameters. That's what I look for. Let's go back to the big board. Let's see if we can pull up this uh, pro football reference information, this chart right here, so that we can see uh, everything as it relates to Christian Coverton. All right, so we're looking at um, 2015. I guess that's when he was picked up. He had two sacks that first year. 2016, he had one sack. And then 17, he had one. But remarkably, in 2018, we're seeing 3.5 sacks. Of course, 7.5 sacks for the season. I know a lot of people are going to be like, ah, that's boo-boo stats. But no, <laughs> what I'm looking at, he hit the quarterback eight times. We can see that. We looking at the uh, the solo tackles coming out of a defensive tackle at a rotational piece. That's nice. And then on top of that, the uh, the sack total 3.5. Guess what? He only started two games. Games played 12. So I'm looking at the whole entire.